this video is going to be my mermaid Halloween makeup tutorial. This look took me hours to do but it's totally worth it. I love the pink hair against the blue skin and the glitter and the shine. I absolutely love this look. I hope you do too and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to be using my Rodeo Stem Cell Superfood Glam Balm Multi. And this is like the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream that you can use for your lips, body and your face. And I want to use this because it's got a thicker formula and it's going to really smooth the face paint on that we're going to put on top. Okay, face paint! I'm going to be using three face paints. These are Snazaru face paints and I got these um, as a set. And I'm going to be mixing in white, green and blue. Just a little bit of the green and the blue, and a lot of the white. And the face paint should smooth on perfectly because of the balm that we put on before from Rodeal. You don't want to look avatar blue. Your face needs to be a light blue colour with a green tinge to it. With the white on its own, I'm going to be highlighting. So I'm applying that under the eyes and apply it onto the highest point of the cheekbones like this and just drag it down towards the blue because if you just have the blue it will look very flat and you want to add dimension back into the face so I'm just applying that onto the nose bridge as well and spreading that towards the forehead a little bit and under the cheekbone as you can see it's already creating a shadow above the white and blend and spread it down the neck wherever skin is showing. Gonna take this top off because this is gonna be messy. Woo! Okay. I look like a smurf right now. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Oh my god, why do I do this to myself? I've now done one side of the face and the first thing that we're gonna do is fill in the eyebrows I'm gonna be using my Sugar Pill Dolly Pop eyeshadow which is this bright pink. I'm filling in the brows with short hair like strokes. Now I'm going to be taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and a flat liner brush like this. I'm going to be cleaning up the brows with this. I'm then going to be taking Mochi eyeshadow from Sugar Pill again. I'm going to be using a lot of Sugar Pill eyeshadows for this look. I'm applying that into the crease as a transitional colour. It's not going to look like much at all, but that's kind of the point because this is going to help everything blend a little bit better. With a small crease brush and Velocity eyeshadow, which is this royal blue, I love this. And I'm going to be taking that into the crease, creating a cut crease. So I'm tilting the brush down into the socket and blending that through. I'm going to be winging it right out to the temples. We're not going subtle here at all. I'm also going to be taking that under the eyes and connecting it to the wing. Now I'm going to be taking my collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner in Love Freak. You can go purple or lilac or even pink for this look or green. That will look really, really cool. But I'm going turquoise. I'm going to be filling in the whole eyelid with this. Don't apply the glitter onto the lash line because we're going to be applying liner there anyway and that will make the eyeliner chunky actually if you put liner on top of glitter. And then I'm going to be patting Makeup Forever Glitter in number 6 on top. That is so pretty. Now I'm going to be using my NYC Liquid Liner. I'm applying a very, very generous amount of eyeliner for this look. I mean, it's Halloween. Honestly, I love going all out on Halloween. It's one of the only times of the year where you can go proper all out with outrageous looks. So I think you should take advantage of it and go for a look like this, you know? And I'm going to wing my eyeliner out extra, extra long. Now I'm taking my Stargazer eyeliner in white and I'm just going to be applying that under the wing just for extra drama. Now I'm going to be taking some eyelash glue, place that onto the inner corner of the eye. And I'm going to be taking this MUA Nail Constellation in Pisces, which is a very fitting name because this is obviously very C-inspired. It's got baby pink 
turquoise and silver little nail beads in it. We're gonna apply this right into the inner corners of the eyes to add some three-dimensional effects and I don't know, it just looks so cool. You can use a wet Q-tip to apply it on your eyes. I'm also applying that just above the line of where the crease starts, following that line all the way through. And just place the nail beads on top. You can find nail beads from the drugstore, obviously MUA has them, and I've seen them in the pound shop as well. Mascara. I'm going to be using one of my favourite mascaras at the minute, and this is the 17 Falsify HD Mascara. I love this. This is so lengthening, and with like two to three layers of this, it really makes your lashes so defined and long. And this mascara doesn't make your lashes clumpy, so that's amazing. And then I'm going to be applying some dramatic lashes. I don't know the name of these lashes, but you can just use any dramatic, spiky lashes. And that's the eyes done. To contour, I'm going to be using Midori eyeshadow, which is this bright green. And I'm just using a big powder brush and going under the cheekbones with this. And this is the Royal and Langnickel Silk Pro BC100. I'm going onto the temples and the hairline. And under the jaw. And to highlight, I'm going to be using one of my favourites yet again, and it's the 17 Instant Glow Gold Bronze Shimmer Brick. You know I love this. I'm going to be using the lightest shade on a fluffy blending brush and apply that to the cheekbones. You want a lot of shine for a mermaid look, so don't be shy with this product. Apply that to the nose bridge, the cupid's bow, the chin, a little bit on the forehead, and you want to apply that into the top of the collarbones as well. I'm going back in with my Stargazer White Eyeliner and I'm going to be drawing dots onto the face. So I'm doing some on the inner corner of the eye. You don't have to be super, super symmetrical with your dots, but just make sure that they're sort of the same shape on both sides. And I'm going over the forehead and I'm going to be drawing swirls with dots. I'm also going to go onto the cheekbone. Okay, I think I'm moving on to the lips now. I'm just going to be using my 17 lipstick in Dreamy. And this is like a corally pink colour. So I'm just going to be putting on my wig cap and my outfit and I'm going to come back. So this is the final look, you guys. This bra type thing is just a scarf wrapped in a bra, actually. I like how it shines. It reminds me of the ocean a little. And the pink hair, I love this pink wig. It's from eBay actually, and I will try and find a link for you guys and link it in the description bar. And my contact lenses, if you are wondering, are the Geo Nudie Golden Blues, and they are from maplens.com. And thank you to maplens.com for specially sending these to me for my Halloween look. And I've also decided to take down the white dots onto my chest area. I hope you are enjoying my Halloween tutorials. I will leave my Halloween playlist in the description bar so that you get more ideas for Halloween this year. And this has been Mark Zapanta, the Prince of Vanity. Please give this video a massive thumbs up. And I also love reading your comments, so please leave me your thoughts and opinions on this look. And that's it, you guys. Subscribe, goddammit. Bye, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah,